Hello everyone. This is for the Algebra 1 assignment for September 11th. Um, okay, let me grab a pen. Okay, well, it is blue because I got red going here. All right. So you guys are going to be doing order of operations. You've learned it as PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. When you have an expression that looks like this, the order that you do it is down PEMDAS. Now I need to add a couple things in there. Um, parentheses are on one level, exponents are on one level, but multiply and divide and add and subtract are on the same level. And I'll talk about that as we approach them. Okay. We start in parentheses first. So 4 divided by 2, then that's 36 plus 4 minus 2. I'm still doing the work in the parentheses. 4 divided by 2, and then that's going to be in parentheses 40, minus 2. Now, this parenthesis here means divide. You don't need to rewrite this. I'm just going to do it to illustrate a point. Times 40 minus 2. So I've taken care of parentheses. Those are done. There are no exponents. That's done. Now, multiply, divide. Okay. It's whichever one you come to first as you read from left to right, from your left side to your right side. You do whichever one of these you come to first. Sure, multiply is written first, but I don't do this multiplying before the dividing. It's as you move down, whichever one of these you come to first as you go from left to right. So I have to do this division first. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so I have 2 times 40 minus 2. So 80 minus 2 is where I'm at. Now I do whichever one of these I come to first. Well, there's only the subtraction, so it's 78. Okay. So PEMDAS, working down it. So parentheses. I have parentheses inside these brackets. These brackets are just fancy parentheses. All right. I still start inside them. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 squared plus 7, and a parenthesis 3. Still working inside this one. Oops, that's a heck of a bracket. Good grief, getting carried away. Inside there, I have to take care of this exponent before I can do the addition. So that's 12 plus 4 plus 7, parenthesis 3. Now I can finish in there, 16 plus 7 times 3, which is 21. These brackets are no longer needed because there's nothing else outside it, so I just have 16 plus 21, which is 37. Okay. I got a little crowded here. I'm going to erase it. Okay, when you have a fraction, take care of business on top and take care of business on the bottom separately, following the same rules for PEMDAS. The only thing I have going on here is subtraction. So the top becomes 5. Now I have to do this multiplication before I can do that addition. So PEMDAS. I'm working down it. I have to take care of either multiplying or division, multiplying or dividing, before I can take care of that addition. So I have 2 plus uh, 4 times 7, what is that, 28? So I have 5 over 30. And then, of course, you got to reduce this. 1 over 6. Okay. Um, this one, a little bit shorter than what that was. Do the work inside first. I have to take care of that exponent. 25 minus 9 plus 5. So I've got 20. Whoops, I sh didn't need to do that separately. 25 minus 9. What's that? 16? There's nothing else outside the parentheses, so I can just bring these together. So your answer is 31. Okay. So here you have a coefficient outside the parentheses. You guys know that that means to distribute in, but do the work inside it first. And I can't do that subtraction. I can't touch that subtraction here. So it's not 20. Nope, I can't do that. I have to take care of what's inside the parentheses first, okay? 
25 minus 5, what's in there is 6 plus 8, 25 minus 5, that's 14. Now, if I remove this parenthesis to write it as a multiplication symbol to help you see it, I can remove the parens like that when there's nothing else happening inside it. I have to take care of either multiplying or dividing before I can do the adding or subtracting. So I have to take care of this before I can subtract it from 25. So let me scoot it down just a little bit. So I got 25 minus 14 times 5. It's early in the morning, so 50, what would that be, 70? Let's try it. Uh, 14 times, oops, it helps if I turn it on, 14 times 5. Yep, 70. I just hate it when I do arithmetic error, so I was nervous, so I wanted to make sure I got it right. 70. Now you do the subtraction. If it was 20 that I was cutting off, I get 50, but there's another 5, so what is that? Negative 35, whoops. 70 minus 25. 45, so I had it wrong the first time, 35. So negative, wow, my goodness. I start to make mistakes and then I get all nervous. All right. 25 minus 70. Make sure I didn't do that wrong. Yep, negative 45. Okay. Whew. Those higher level math skills get me every time. Okay. I'd love to distribute that 2 in, but I can't. I have to start inside. The bracket is like a parenthesis, but then I have this parenthesis inside that, so I have to start there. 2 bracket 5 minus 8 plus 3 squared and a 7. Plus three. What did I write there? Good lord. Who's writing this? Plus three squared. Whew. Okay. And I'm still working inside. This adding and subtracting stuff I can't take care of until I take care of this multiplication. Two. Bracket. Five minus eight plus three squared is nine. The parenthesis, now that there's nothing inside, is multiply. 2 bracket 5 minus 8 plus 9 times 7 is 63. Now, you do which, there's only adding and subtracting going on in here. You do whichever one you come to first as you read left to right. So 2 bracket 5 minus 8, that's the first one I come to. So that's negative 3 plus 63, 2, negative 3 plus 63 is 60, and that's just 2 times 60 is 120. Okay? Now, this one's a puzzle for you. It's working on um, your order of operations. In class, we'll go through this, making sure people can do their order of operations and also their problem-solving skills. So, if you want to try this on your own, see if you can, can come up with an answer of 117. Um, I'm respectful of your time. I want to uh, not take up more of it than I have. I've already gone over the time I'm supposed to, so I'm going to stop it there. Thank you for your time.